Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be showing you how to solve for the reaction forces on a simply supported beam. Step one is to draw a free body diagram of the beam. At the pin here I'm replacing the pin with two forces and R a X, R stands for reaction, R A Y, and here at the roller I'm replacing it with a force R B Y. The two applied forces, F1 equals 700 pounds, uh, F2 equals 800 pounds. I'll make sure we get our distances here. This is two feet, this is three feet, and this is one foot. Okay. Now that looks exactly like the uh, original diagram, but it is free of its supports. So um, you have to draw a correct free body diagram. So drawing a free body diagram, remembering at uh, Let's label that point A and point B. At point A, uh, we re it is a pin, so we replace it with two forces. At a roller here, replace it with one force. Okay. All right. With the free body diagram done, we're now going to go to step two. Step two is to look at the sum of the forces in the y direction. Set it equal to zero. Going back to our free body diagram, we look at all the forces going right or left. The only one going right or left is RAX, and that equals to zero. So that's step two. Step three, uh, we look at the sum of the forces in the Y, set it equal to zero. Going back to our free body diagram, we look at all forces going up or down and set it equal to zero. So RAY minus F1 because it's going down, minus F2 because it's going down, plus RBY going up so it's a positive equals zero. Let's substitute some numbers in RAY minus the 700 pounds minus the 800 pounds plus RBY equal to zero. Rearranging this a little bit, we get RAY plus R, sorry about that, RAY plus RBY equal to, and this uh, minus 700 pounds, minus 800 pounds, combining those give us this minus 1,500 pounds. Adding 1,500 pounds to both sides, we get a positive 1,500 pounds on the right. Let's go ahead and call this equation one in step number three. Okay, So we're going to be using this equation again shortly. Continuing on to step four. Step four is a little bit harder but uh, we can still handle that. We're going back to our free body diagram. We're going to be looking at the moments about a point. This point right here, point A, looks like a good point. So let's go ahead and start uh, step four. So number four here, we're going to look at the sum of the forces, excuse me, the sum of the moments around point A we identified equal to zero. Um, remember it's static, so there's no acceleration. So uh, that's why it is equal to zero. We declare that counterclockwise is positive because that's not universal. Um, so now let's look at all the forces we have because remember that uh, a moment is force times distance and that's a perpendicular distance. So let's look at the forces and the distances. So we've got one, two, three, four, five forces. Um, 
Notice here that when we look at the line of action of this force, it passes through that point. The line of action of this force, it passes through that point. So that's a zero distance because we're looking for a perpendicular distance. Look at this line of action here and this point. We see it's two feet. Look at the line of action of this force. We see that that is five feet. And the line of action of this force here perpendicular distance there is six feet. So we've got our distances. So let's go ahead and do some writing here. We've got RAX. We said that was a zero distance. We've got RAY. We said that was a zero distance. We've got F1 and we said that was two feet. We have F2 and we said that's five feet. And we've got R. B, Y, and we said that one was six feet. And the sum of that's going to be equal to zero. But I said that's the sum, but I don't have any pluses or minuses. So where do we get that from? Well, remember we said that counterclockwise up here is positive. So let's look at our free body diagram again. Remember that free body diagram is what we go back to all the time. All right, here's our point. If I'm pushing here with this force, that's not going to rotate. Well, it has zero distance anyway. If I'm pushing here at this point, it's not going to rotate. But if I'm pushing here, which way will this rotate? Okay. Yes, it's going to rotate clockwise. This pushing here, it would want to rotate. I should say it wants to rotate clockwise. It's static because over here we're pushing counterclockwise. Okay, So clockwise clockwise, counterclockwise. So let's fill in our answers here. All right. So that really doesn't matter whether that's a plus or a minus. But we said that is clockwise, so that's minus. We say this is clockwise, so that's minus. Um, so we say that's positive. So that is counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and do some simplifying here. So let's uh, plug in some numbers. That's uh, 700 pounds, and that's two feet. That's um, 800 pounds, and that was five feet. Uh, this one was uh, RBY. We don't know what that is, but it is six feet, and it equal to zero. Let's multiply this out. Minus 1,400 pounds feet minus 4,000 pounds feet plus RBY times 6 feet equals 0. Collecting that we get minus 5,400 pounds feet plus RBY times 6 feet that equal to zero. Now let's add 5,400 pounds feet to both sides. And we end up with RBY times six feet equal to a positive 5,400 pounds feet. Divide both sides by six feet six feet and we get RBY equal to 900 pounds. Okay. And that was step four. Finishing up with step five. Remember I said we go back uh, we're going to use that equation one in step three so let me state that from uh, equation one in step number three that was RAY plus RBY equals 1500 pounds RAY plus what we just discovered uh, in step four this 900 pounds here equals 1500 pounds so RAY equals 600 pounds. So we found this reaction force from step 5. 
we found this reaction force from step four and we found this reaction force in step two. Now one of the things I should do is to plug those numbers into MD solids and see what the reaction forces here and here are going to be and if you look on reactions in the pull down menu you'll see that you have the 600 pounds up the 900 pounds up um, MD solids on a beam will not do lateral forces so we have to go ahead and uh, realize on MD solids that RA X equals zero um, so that covers all our three unknowns in our problem hope you have good luck on solving um, reaction forces on a beam.